welcome back to some black ops 2 i can't really remember the name of this mission before we get started because like i played it and then um i ended up being really tired so then i just took a two-day break i wanted to go and play the rest of the story through but anyways a lot has happened since then as you can see my chair this one looks a little bit smaller because it sit whoops i need to go this way because it broke Another one of my gaming chairs broke. So you know what I'm sitting in? I'm not buying another one either. I'm just going to suffer. I'm using one of these small metal-like chairs that this one will never break on me. This thing's high quality. And it was only $7. But, uh, yeah, one of these school, these metal school chairs is what I'm going to start using. Because this thing couldn't last longer than, like, a year. Okay? It had, like, one year in it. And, like, when I first started my channel, I had, like, this nice wooden leather one. I think it was, like, a $5,000 one. Someone gave it to me. I didn't pay that much for it. That one lasted, actually, quite a long time. But because it was made out of wood, it eventually the wood gave. Then, um, there was, a, there were a, like, two different recliner ones that I went through. Those ones ended up getting a little bit warped or uncomfortable. Then this one over here, it was fine. It just, the, the bottom, like, the bar goes up into, like, the tube that goes up into the chair. The chair ended up sitting on it like this, right? And then it ended up breaking, so now it just leans and goes like this now. So I could re I could potentially repair it, but it's just like, I don't really want to do that right now. Okay, I'm talking your leg off. Let's start the story. Restarting it the way I wanted to didn't work. There's the cutscene. Here we Raul go. Menendez launched the drone attacks against your cities. The United States has nothing to gain by invading China. We're all pawns of Raul Menendez. Thousands of American drones are heading for our capital cities. Who the heck is that guy? Oh boy, he is scary looking. Oh. Madam President. What was that? Doesn't matter. <laughs> Madam President. <laughs> Graphics are already bad enough with going to put an old person in with wrinkles. That's a horrifying detail. He's our best authority on Menendez. Oh. And he still believes you may be a target. Sir, we have activity on the ground. Multiple hostiles. Oh my god. The drones. They're changing course. Los Angeles. I knew it was too easy to crack this Solarium drive. He's targeting the president. Green one is under attack. Go to ground. Alert the MRAP for immediate pickup. We're going down. I want to play the Sinking City again. I've been feeling it. Like I feel like I waited long enough that I could replay that first like hours worth and then get back started into it. But if at least my saves again, that would be annoyed. Evacuate the president to prom night? Okay. Of course, die. I just, every time I see that, it makes me want to read it in that voice. Even if I was playing alone, I probably would read it like. I can't help you unless you calm down. You need to stay calm. I've given you something for the pain. Madam President, the drones took out Air Force One and Marine One. We cannot extract the graphics fire. actually seem better than the they used to. Of the other convoys. LAPD reports surface streets are compromised. Hundreds of heavily armed mercenaries have struck LA simultaneously. Any word on casualties? Downtown LA evacuated. Preliminary reports are below expectations. Thank God. Mason, what's our next move? Madam President, we're taking you to the That was the first smart thing she said. Hotel in downtown. Johnson, I want Ask the commander what was going on. Ask someone that has military Norris, combat experience what's going on instead of just random generic questions. This is what Menendez planned all along. Taking out the G20 leaders will cripple capitalist governments across the world. Look at that. Oh. Yeah, first time I watched this, I thought that was a police fan. I don't know why, but I, I was only seeing a police van when I saw that. Look at that. The thing is, once you do a moment like that, you probably forgot the whole ride here. 
You probably forgot the whole ride here, but you know what's going on. Be ready to move. Now there is one thing I have a big problem with this, this uh, game, and that's the, it's this one truck right here. This one truck. The amount of drones I'm able to take out with just one person using this, it's just like, how is this whole city not defended easily? Because look, all those drones gone. If they have things that just take everything out like this, how is it that we're even having a drone problem right now? I know you, they have tons of drones and stuff, but still. Although I hate how I use my mouse with this. Goodness, this is obnoxious. I will say this game was a lot better on console. It really was. For like movement and stuff. There we go. It's just like I took out those like five fleets of drones. And we're having a drone problem if it just takes one truck to do that. And it's not even on stable ground in a good spot. I don't know, maybe I'm just complaining. Anyways, today I have a lot of plans. So once I record this, I wanted to watch some trailers. The last time I reviewed a trailer was Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. And then i never seen anything about it again. Black Ops 6 is already coming out. And I'm wanting to I'm wanting to see what Black Ops 6 zombies looks like. I'm gonna propel down. The sniper I have is really good, but it was boring sitting up here last time. This is about as far as I got last time before I realized I was too zoned to play. I had like no energy. But yeah, I wanna I'm thinking about reviewing the uh, Base Marine trailer and then Black Ops 6 zombies. I'm definitely gonna do the Black Ops 6 zombies. I've been like refusing to watch anything on it because I'm just like once I see it I'm gonna be super hyped and I'm gonna want it really bad and I don't really want to do that yet especially because there's a lot of games I want to play oh my sensitivity is so high what is this nonsense oh man if I could just shoot through this The sensitivity is so wild. Why is it so wild? Turn it down. There we go. Is this better? How did my sensitivity get absolutely maxed out like that? It's basically I either snipe them from up there or I snipe them from right here and I still have to walk through this because they respawn once they get through. So instead of a two part mission, it makes this a one point. Ooh. I heard a shot up there, oh. Wasn't there someone right there? I don't know anymore. I'm just gonna push forward. Well, that was a teammate. It's fine, he, he's, he's invincible. Okay, head for the prom night bunk- Well, I'm in a truck now? I was just sitting there shooting, I went to jump a fence, and all of a sudden, I'm captain of truck. Accelerate. How strong does an engine on a vehicle need to be for you to just go through all these vehicles like they're paper mache- Oh, crap. Well, I guess that knocked me sideways. And the shocks on this, just for it to glide over that like that? Like, this truck is a beefy. Look at that, these trucks, they don't even slow me down. Anderson, My screen barely shakes. Honestly, I don't even, like, what are the cops doing Anderson, here? What, 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 what would be their role in this? Other than getting in the way.
Okay, I get it. I can't see. I'm blind. I get it. Put me to sleep, game. Put me to sleep with this nonsense. I want this rocket launcher. Now, who's messing with me? ka -chow. Okay. Okay, wait. That didn't do anything. Well, what's the point of having this thing right here in my face? ka -chow. Hold on. Hold on. ka -chow. It's a rocket launcher. Blow up. No way a rocket launcher. Okay. First of all, how'd I miss? Second of all, this thing can survive multiple RPG rounds? I don't think so. I don't think so. You know what? Kerchow. Oh, I missed. You know what? Sniping in that nest? Kerchow. This guy right here? Kerchow. I don't even care. How many rockets am I carrying? How This would be heavy. Kerchow. 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 I'm blind. Oh no, it's back to the blind scenes. Okay, well, I missed this access point here. That's cool. I have one of those. Can you guys see it on my camera? No, you can't. Oh, there we go. I, I missed. Come on. Come on now. Come on now. Hit. The fact they tried expecting us to get UAVs with this thing and the inconsistency with how it fires was beyond me when I got that thing with diamond camo. And then again, maybe it did lock on a little bit. I don't remember. Okay, let's just get through this. I'm curious on how Black Ops 2 even ends. I will say this is the most unmotivating level there is out of all the levels that I've done. Oh crap. And I feel like this is like, this feels like it would be like a big one for them. This one just feels like the most brain rot to me. What's wrong about losing world leaders? Like, can't you just replace them? I got an idea. Just just spam and shoot. The shots have to hit at some point. What are the cops even doing? They're coming out here with pistols? Are their pistols even strong enough to pierce the armor of these guys? Oh crap, if you kill me right now. Hitting one. Did my drone die? I think my drone finally died. Soon as I needed to use it. That thing crouches. That's gonna be a hard shot to hit. Oh my goodness. Hold on. What's in here? We have all these RPGs in here, and these police officers are coming out here with little pistols. Oh no, he has a rifle out. Okay, they're not as dumb as I thought. I, I, I refuse to aim down sights anymore. This, this is how I play. This is how I play. They want to have the most finicky weapon setups in the world, then that's what we're going to be doing. Might as well use a shotgun for it, though. Spread out. Open your field to fire. Stay on line. Yeah. 
me! Okay, 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 okay. An access point. Am I supposed to come up here? Is this part of the mission or is this a bonus? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, what does this do? Oh! Was there a reason for that? If I die right here, there better not be anyone in this room. Okay, I got a little drone buddy with me now. Okay, there we go. Oh, I thought you were a skeleton. I was like, there ain't no way there's already skeleton people here. Well, what if Bethesda and Call of Duty teamed up and they did like a uh, Call of Duty Fallout game where it's like before the nukes hit some of the warfare leading up to it. That would be interesting. I'd play. I feel like they, that would work. That would work very nicely. As long as Activision and Bethesda don't end up being... I'm not going to use the words I was going to use for that. It could work. The thing is, would anybody even like that? Oh. Was the whole building falling and I didn't even realize? That's fine. Another one of these blind missions. Okay, time to go to sleep on my microphone. At least now it's immersive. Oh, shit. Anderson. She took a hit before. Don't know how bad. Does anyone else do that? Does anyone else have a microphone like this and they just like rest their neck on it when you play for too long and it's just like your neck starts getting tired and you're like, uh. Because it is nice. Instead of laying my head back, I can lean it forward. <laughs> Get her to safety. Make sure she lives. I was spamming my gun the whole time and I was going to say make sure she lives. <laughs> Last of all, identify Mason David priority override Alpha Delta Echo X ray. Your ship got shot down, and I'm gonna use it. This actually looks so good. What communication and telemetry systems? Oh, this is exciting. What? Oh, I like how this feels. This looks good, and in the city like this? Okay, I'm hyped now. This whole mission was kind of just like, you know, a sleep on mission where I get to sleep it out. Not, it was really just like, it's like a flyover state of the missions, but, um... I can just blow up the cop cars? Oh, I already blew up that cop car. Yeah, see, the cops don't matter. I, I don't get, I don't get why they're here. Oh, are these cops? Not that I'm, like, saying anything about, about, about cops, like... Real life. I just mean in this game, in the middle of the war zone, they have cops driving around. It's like, what? What's going on with that? I don't know. I just feel like they'd get in the way with their lack of training. That's all. And like the military combat thing. I mean, they could help, yeah, but how am I supposed to ascend to shoot this thing? You know, what? I'm just gonna crash into you. Oh, where'd you guys go? You're still trying to make the turn right here? supposed to protect you guys and you guys are that far away this must be really close to the end of the game why did they crash into that they're not brakes shift for afterburners okay 
This is what they had this in Black Ops 3 for the most part. Hey, hey, oh my goodness, I just went up to do a little spin. We're sorry, but the sky is not part of the jet flying scene where you have flight combat. Yeah, sorry, we don't we don't accept flying. Ah, the dumb. Maintaining current speed. Enemy neutralized. I thought these were on our team. Oh no, I remember now. Oh crap. Oh crap. Uh, my ship's getting worse and worse. How did I leave the combat zone? I didn't even know where to go. Enemy neutralized. Oh. Isn't Black Ops 6 supposed to be something about Black Ops 2? Like some like before Black Ops 2 or like after? Before Black Ops 3? I know it's before Black Ops 3. But it's either before or after Black Ops 2. I don't know. I don't know the story behind that at the moment. I'm curious. I'd like to buy pieces for my uh, PC I'm trying to build, but they have th th these two new games that are coming out. Kind of need to get them. And I don't think I, I don't think I, I never played Cold War's campaign. Should I go back and play Cold War's campaign before Black Ops Six? Would that be good? Maybe I should. Come on, that building looked like it was made out of styrofoam. That did not hurt. With these low textures. This whole place is made out of cardboard and styrofoam. Damn! That was pretty ballsy moves up there, soldier. Late for the prom. Escort the president to the secure location in downtown LA. That place did not look secure. Why do we even take him to LA? That place was... nuked up. Judgment Day, Haiti, 2025. That must be. This must be the final quest. I think I am gonna play it, but I'm gonna end this one for here. Anyways, we will continue this tomorrow. I hope you guys all enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you guys in the next one.